Hello, my name's Hannah Hacking and I'm one of the philosophy teachers here at Hills Road Sixth Form College. Um, and this little video should um, tell you a little bit about what the philosophy course involves and my, why you might want to join us to study philosophy here at Hills Road. OK, so I'm going to be talking about the philosophy A-level course. Um, I'm assuming that you already have an idea of what philosophy is about. If you are um, watching this and you've no idea what philosophy is, then I would suggest you look that up yourself. Um, there are lots of places online if you just search for what is philosophy, have a read, have an idea, get, get yourself an idea of what um, just the nature of the subject is it's itself, what the word philosophy is all about. Um, and then come back here to the video uh, where I will tell you about which particular bits of philosophy we're doing at A level. So I'm going to focus on um, the uh, the bits of philosophy that we're covering the A level course and um, how we deliver that here at Hills Road. Okay, so first off, if you've heard about philosophy, you've got an idea of what it's about. Maybe you've looked at some bits of philosophy before as part of your um, GCSE courses. Um, so why might you be interested? Why might you be thinking uh, philosophy is a good A-level for you to choose? First of all, um, I guess the nature of the content is that philosophy is dealing with what people know, call it big questions. Um, so these kind of questions that seem strange to some people. Um, they're known as big questions because they are really hard to answer. Um, because in order to answer them, we need to answer, kind of break them down and um, kind of answer smaller sub questions first. And also they're big questions because they're really fundamental. Um, they're really key questions that kind of humans really want to know, inquisitive humans certainly, want to know the answers to. Um, so we look at questions about existence. What exists? Is it just physical stuff or is there other stuff that exists and how do we know that? Um, we look at knowledge itself. What is that? How is it different from belief and truth? Um, we look at um, ideas about God and the universe. We look at ideas about perception. In the second year, we look at lots of ideas about um, mind, our thoughts, our consciousness. Where does that come from? What is it? If it's not physical, how do we know about it? Um, so if you're interested in these kind of questions, then tick. Uh, that's the first one checked. Um, the second reason why you might want to study philosophy um, is so that you learn kind of how to engage with these kind of questions. You'll learn how to think really clearly and critically about these questions. So having said we're studying the big questions, we don't just in A level philosophy, we don't just sit around kind of stroking our beards and thinking, hmm, I wonder if I really exist and having a chat about it. Um, we will study the answers to that question that various philosophers from the past have come up with. We will um, take apart their answers to those questions so that we analyze them um, and try and uh, in order to try and evaluate them and discover where there might be flaws or where we might um, agree with them. We'll learn how to take kind of any claim that we're presented with and think about it in a really clear, critical, logical way. Um, so, yes, we think about big questions, but we don't just sit around thinking about them. We, it's a lot of hard work. It can be very technical at times. Um, and we learn how to be really precise and logical so that really in the future you can answer kind of any uh, any question or kind of tackle any issue in that really uh, rigorous logical way. Um, and also if you if you have heard about or read bits of philosophers, um, some people that you might have heard of, Plato, Descartes, Hume, um, 
there are loads more. And um, if you're thinking these seem like interesting people, bits I've heard about them before, I want to know what they had to say. Um, and I want to be able to talk about their contributions um, to philosophy, then uh, we'll be doing that and engaging with all of those uh, big guys. OK, so a little bit more detail about what the course itself covers. Um, we study the AQA philosophy. Um, it's the, that's the only uh, board that, that offers um, a uniquely philosophy A-level. Um, in year one, there are two units. One is epistemology, which is the study of knowledge. So we'll look at what is knowledge? How do we define it? How do you know when you've got knowledge rather than just true belief? Um, we look at different sources of knowledge. Um, is perception a source of knowledge? So can we know about things just from seeing them or hearing them? Um, and then we look at like kind of where does knowledge come from? Does it have to come from the world around us? Can we get knowledge from logic and reason? Can we get knowledge? Is there some knowledge that we're just born with? And then in moral philosophy, um, this is also known as ethics, where this is a bit that you might have studied a bit of in RS at school if you've done GCSE. Um, so we look at um, various ethical issues, but primarily we're looking at philosophical ethical theories such as uh, utilitarianism, Kantian deontology and Aristotelian virtue ethics. Um, so these are theories where people have tried to kind of come up with a formula for this is how we know what is right and wrong. Um, and we will take apart these theories um, and see what we make of them in terms of do they are they are these theories really going to tell us what's right and wrong? Um, and we'll be so we'll be critiquing them as well as applying them to different moral issues. And then we also look at the end of moral philosophy. We also look at metaethics, which is the study of um, kind of the language of ethics and what is ethics when we say something is right and wrong. What does that actually mean? So that's the first year. Those two units. In the second year, look at two more units. Um, what is the metaphysics of God and what is the metaphysics of mind? So in both of these, we are looking at, um, I guess, things that lots of people think exists, but are not physical. So it's metaphysics kind of beyond the physical. So um, God, the idea of um, a non-physical being and all the ideas that come with that in terms of, is he outside of time? Is he, how can we know about him if he's outside of the universe? We look at arguments for and against the existence of God. Look at, is just the idea of God coherent? Um, and then we look at religious language um, and think about kind of, is there any point talking about God if we can't prove anything about him? So uh, that's the God bit. And then the second bit is metaphysics of mind, where we're looking at what is your mind? So we talk about your mind as if it is a thing apart from your brain. So you have your physical brain, but also your mind is where your thoughts are, where your conscious experience is. So like, where are your thoughts? What are they? Are they, is your mind just the same thing as your brain? Is it just kind of brain activity? Can we reduce it in that way? Or is there something else going on? And if your mind is something non-physical apart from your brain, then what can we know about it? How does it work? Where is it? How does it interact with your body and your brain? Um, can we know that other people have minds and how? Can we, how can we know about other people's thoughts and things? So, um, like I said, really fascinating, big questions that we're looking at. Um, so if you're thinking these sound like interesting questions, um, then philosophy might be for you. If you fancy two years of just looking at these questions, in real depth and analysing people's answers to them. In terms of what skills you will develop, um, I mean, philosophy is kind of all about the skills that you will develop. Um, students who have studied philosophy are just hopefully more kind of careful and thoughtful. Um, certainly more articulate. We do lots of work on making sure that you um, explain things really clearly and precisely. So it's really important that you have um, really good use of English 
and kind of written and spoken so that you can say exactly what you mean uh, and be really precise with your kind of choice of words. Um, hopefully you will be more critical. So when you're presented with claims in any area of life, um, you'll have the tools to um, kind of question that. Hopefully you'll be happy kind of working on think, thinking about very abstract issues and thinking about kind of normal issues at a more abstract level, not just the kind of concrete and specific and um, kind of worldly questions, um, but those, those bigger, more abstract issues. Um, and hopefully you'll just be more generally more questioning and um, reflective, like we say, just a bit more thoughtful, logical and careful. Um, within the philosophy department, there is lots of support on offer. Um, philosophy is a difficult subject. You'll get lots of support from your peers. Um, we have, compared with most other centres that offer A-level philosophy, uh, we have big full classes full of like-minded people um, ready to engage in discussion and to help each other grapple with these ideas and understand them. Um, we also put on um, specific support sessions um, that we call Philosophy Plus. So within those, we might kind of um, repeat sessions that you might have missed. We will do revision sessions. We do um, lots of bespoke one-to-one -one help. Very often um, in philosophy, there might be issues that you just think, just not quite grasping that. I've read it, I've done the work, and there's just something I just need explaining in a slightly different way, because these are these are really abstract concepts and they're difficult things to get your head around, and sometimes they require a lot of work. So um, uh, our philosophy teachers here put in a lot of time into just sitting down with students one-to-one -one and just making sure that you're getting that. Um, and we also do some peer mentoring where our second year students will kind of buddy up with our first year students, um, and that works very well. Um, in terms of how you'll be assessed, um, the assessment that we do during the course kind of matches what uh, the A-level exam is like. There's no coursework, it's 100% exam, so you will just have um, six, hour, six hours of exam at the end of your two years. And each paper is, um, there's a combination of short tariff questions, which are for three, five or 12 marks, and then longer essays. Uh, for 25 marks so um yeah be prepared for kind of short very concise precise um short knowledge questions but then also a uh, longer more evaluative essay writing so that's something that you need to um be prepared for if you're thinking about embarking on a level um there's also uh, lots of opportunity for extracurricular things um you can see the list here, uh, guest speakers, essay prizes, um, sometimes trips to universities, lectures and things. And if you're thinking, well, philosophy seems all well and good, but what do you do after having studied philosophy? Um, I guess key thing here is philosophy kind of um, straddles lots of different areas. So some people think of it as um, like an arts humanities subject. It's part of our department of political and social sciences. But we have lots of students who combine philosophy with maths and science. Um, we have lots of students who combine philosophy with um, other kind of humanities, essay writing subjects, a real, real mixture. And philosophy kind of goes well with all of those because it's got the kind of essay writing side, but it's also got the very logical analytical side. Um, with philosophy, you can do a whole range of things afterwards. Um, lots of students uh, go on to uh, read PPE or philosophy or philosophy combined with something else at university. Here are some quotes from our current students about why you would like to, why you might like to do philosophy deep thinking, abstract analysis, essay writing. And that it's really different from GCSE. It's also different from any other A-level 
Um, so, I can say regardless of which other A-level subjects you're considering, philosophy will be um, a bit of a change from all of them. Our students perform really strongly in philosophy. Um, as you can see here, with the vast majority of students achieving a B grade or above. And here are some more examples of um, the courses that our recent students have gone on to study. So you can see lots of these related to philosophy, but lots of them uh, less so. Um, we have some ex students who come back and tell us about how the study of philosophy at A level has really helped and supported and kind of given them the skills to do well in their maths or science or technology related degrees as well. So that's um, the end of our kind of key information here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard. Hopefully this uh, has made you think that philosophy A-level is something that you're considering. And if so, we hope to see you soon at Hills Road. Thank you very much.